Hi church family, great to be back with you this morning. So today we're looking at Luke chapter 20 verses 27 to 40, um, where Jesus answers a question given to him by a set of Sadducees. Now the Sadducees were a sect in Jewish culture at the time with some quite specific and slightly different beliefs to the rest of the Jews. Um, they didn't believe in spirits at all, which meant that they didn't believe in the Holy Spirit and they didn't believe in demonic spirits either. And they also didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead. So they didn't believe that once we died that Jesus was going to, well, the Messiah at that point was going to come back and that we would go to live with him in heaven. So the question that they posed is based upon those beliefs and they raised this question about um, this um, Seth, this family with seven sons where the wife of the first son, the son dies and she's, she moves and um, marries each son in turn. And they raised that question because they thought it was a question that Jesus wasn't going to be able to answer. And that in fact, it would highlight the obvious problem with the resurrection, which is that how would anybody know who they were? How would we know where they were supposed to be? What designation would they have once this happened? Now, that law of Moses that they talk about there um, really had nothing to do with the resurrection at all. It was a law put in place in order to protect widows, to make sure that if their husbands died, they weren't destitute and that the family that they married into took care of them. So it was a law based on the culture at the time in order to protect the most vulnerable. And so here we have this um, set of um, Jewish people, Sadducees, coming to Jesus and I guess trying to throw a spanner in the works. Um, and his response to them is to talk about God's kingdom, to talk about firstly that actually when we get to heaven that nobody's getting married, that we're not given in marriage, that people aren't getting married, but instead that the designation that matters, the family that matters in the kingdom of God is God's family. That all people that are there are children of God, that we would be his sons and daughters, and that those other earthly designations no longer matter. And I think for us that that's actually a place of great encouragement actually, because right now in our culture, we live in a world where identity is hotly debated some people think it's static, some people think it's fluid, other people think it's something that's given to you, some people think it can be changed and you can choose. And it is a hotly debated topic with many different opinions and lots of different ideas. But God's really clear about our identity and he's really clear about the identity that matters. And our identity is that we are bought with a price, adopted sons and daughters of the king. And we get to rest assured that that is our primary identity, being the sons and daughters of God. And that everything else comes after that. But also that when we get to heaven, that that debate will be completely um, just resolved because all of us will be there as his children. And that's the part that matters. So that's something that we can hold on to. It's something that can encourage us. It's something that we can rely on. That when God looks at us, what he sees, the person he sees is his child. First and foremost, always, that you are a son or a daughter of the king. I hope that you have an amazing day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.